Olympic Lyon, one of the biggest clubs in French football, now see themselves sitting 7th in the Ligue 1 table, but this was not always the case. Lyon won their first league title in the 2001-2002 season after beating fellow challengers Lens 3-1 on the last day of the season. This then kick-started an 8-season reign at the top of the Ligue 1 table, winning the league from 2001 all the way to 2008 with some of the greats of the game like Janinho, Sidney Gourvou, Karim Benzema and Hatem Ben Arfa all playing for Lyon over this period, Lyon were a real force in Ligue 1. But now a Saudi business has completed the financial takeover of Lyon and will fund the club for the next 10 seasons. But they have some very demanding requirements in return for their investment. We would like you to win the Ligue 1 title 8 times to match the Lyon run from 2001 to 2008. Also to win the French Cup 5 times to match the club's current record. And finally to win the Champions League trophy. This can be achieved by any means how. We will invest heavily into the club to bring all the glory back to Olympic Lyon. And that's where we come in guys as I got the call to be the man for the job and to take Lyon back to the top of world football. Be sure to leave a like, comment, any teams you would like me to rebuild or any ways I can improve these videos. Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here and let's get into this takeover rebuild with Lyon. We're heading into season one guys and as you can see we've been given £1 billion as a one-time transfer budget. So in season one we have all the money to work with if we want to build this team for the next 10 seasons obviously we've got certain requirements that we need to do in terms of trophies but we've been given a 1 billion pound transfer budget for the first season only it doesn't carry over so i'm gonna to have to spend a lot of it now i'm gonna be getting players that are young high potential world-class players now so we have the structure to build and be successful for the next 10 seasons in this leon rebuild guys we're gonna be going with the wing play tactical preset because we're gonna be playing the left and right wingers in this formation with the one striker up top two central midfielders and a holding midfielder to go with i've gone through the squad for the season and as you can see i've transfer listed quite a few players these are players that are just a bit older and i kind of want to get rid and reduce the squad age to make it a bit younger but these players won't be playing for us and obviously because we have so much money to spend i need to reduce the squad size the first signing of this leon rebuild is going to be one of the legends of the club benzema has come back to leon for one season only i've decided to bring him back obviously he features a lot in the leon's success winning the leagues he's joined from alitiad for 22 million pounds like i said he's probably only going to be here for one season i'll probably try and keep him until he retires i felt like bringing benzema back for a bit of nostalgia to the club so benzema is the first signing of this rebuild and don't worry guys we've got a lot more players on the transfer list that we're going to go out and buy arguably the world's best player in football right now the left winger from brazil has joined from real madrid for 176.5 million pounds none other than vinicius jr guys 24 years of age 90 overall he is probably the best player in the world right now absolutely killing it in real life and if we want to try and win eight league and titles vinicius jr is one player to add to help us do that we've also gone out and got ourselves a new central midfielder looking to add some depth to the side and also try and bring in one of the world's best players in midfield martin Odegaard has joined from arsenal for 135 million pounds and he will be slotting straight into that midfield role 25 years of age 89 overall one of the best players in the premier league in midfield he comes in to bolster the midfield i really think he's going to help us try and get all those trophies that we do need so after the signings you just saw guys i went on a massive spending spree and we spent all the money that we got given one billion pounds on transfer fees we've really transformed this leon team now guys we had to do it if we really wanted to succeed in claiming all the trophies that are required from the new owners. Coutinho joined from PSG for £87.7 million. I also got Joao Neves from PSG for £60 million. Olka has come in as a backup keeper for £24. Pio Hernandez has come in from AC Milan for £86 million. Pulisic has also joined from Milan for £51. And we got a triple signing from Milan because Tomori comes in as a backup centre-back. Edison will be our new number one goalkeeper for the season after he joined from Man City. Kalanoglu comes in for £60 million. He's going to be playing in the CDM role. Gusto will be the new right back. Araujo will be the centre back alongside Tap Soba. And with all those transfers combined, this is how Leon's team is going to look in season one, guys. Absolutely buzzing with this squad. A lot of younger players with a couple of more experienced players in there as well. And we know what we need to do. We need to win eight league and titles. And I think this team is going to really help us. Obviously, we've got a lot of talent on the bench as well. And we will be making more transfers throughout the rebuild. But for now, we'll spend the initial investment from the new owner 
owners. So Lyon are going to line up like this in season one. Hopefully we can try and tick off a league title and a French Cup in the first season, which would be amazing. Let's get into season one now, guys. I'm really excited to use this team as there's some world-class players in here, and I'm sure we're going to do well in season one. Okay, then, guys, we've made it to the end of season one, and Lyon have finished second in the Ligue 1 table, just shy of PSG, who won the league on 73 points. Unfortunately, we did not win the league title in the first season. Now into the Coupe de France, and we won 3-2 in the round of 32. We then won 2-0 against Green Gamp in the round of 16. The quarterfinals, which means we do go into the semifinals. And would you look at that, guys? In the first season, we were in the final of the French Cup. We beat Toulouse 3-1, and we will face Montpellier in the final. And we have absolutely smashed Montpellier, guys. 4-0 in the final, which means we have ticked off the first trophy in this rebuild with Lyon in season one and it is the Coupe de France which means we now got one out of five French League Cups. We finished 19 in the Europa League phase guys which means we go into the playoff phase. We did win on aggregate 3-2 to go into the round of 16 and then unfortunately guys Porto beat us 6-3 on aggregate to get through to the quarterfinals. finals right ended up winning the whole competition as they beat Tottenham 2-0. Arsenal beat Atletico Madrid to win the Champions League this season and Fiorentina beat Chelsea to win the Conference League. Okay then guys, as you can see on the screen, these stats for the end of the season. Vinicius Junior with 41 goals and 13 assists. 92 overall now. What an absolutely insane player he is. Benzema, obviously he's 37 now. He's gone right down to an 83. He did still manage to get 26 goals and 8 assists, but he's had his one season with us. He'll now go to the bench and he probably won't play for us again. Pulisic getting in on the goals as well. 20 goals this season for him. And then a lot of other players just getting in on the action as well. I think next season I'm going to try and get ourselves a new striker. Looking at the overalls right now of the players players a lot of players looking really really nice here but we're going to go into season two now we've ticked off one trophy which is the cup fight we're going to go into season two now and we've now won one out of the five league cups that we need to win and we're still chasing that first league title i'm going to go out and try and get some more players to just improve this squad i feel like benzema has kind of not been the best option but it was just nice to bring him in for one season i'm going to go into the transfer window in season two see if we can try and pick up some more players to add to this already amazing squad first signing of season two is here guys and we've signed a new backup midfielder he's going to be replacing Kalanoglu in the years to come but for now he's just going to be a backup Amiran comes in from Athletic Madrid for 26 million pounds we've got Benzema's replacement guys as you can see Victor Jochez has come in from Sporting Lisbon for 77 million pounds I thought he is an absolute beast 77 million pounds from Sporting Benzema has gone to Leipzig for 35 million pounds for a 37 year old I can't believe they've actually paid that much but Jochez comes comes in to replace him i'm really excited to use this guy because he looks absolutely insane and we know how good he is in real life as well Eze Militao has joined leon from chelsea tomori has gone the other way and we have paid around 60 odd million pounds as well as you can see tomori plus 65 million pounds Eder Militao comes in from Chelsea. So Militao comes in, 27 years old, really, really good player. We know how good he is in real life and he's very popular in career mode, 85 pace as well. He's going to come in to be our new centre-back. This will be the team for season two, guys. Obviously, Jokerez coming in up front and Militao coming in at the right centre-back position. Those are the two upgrades for the team. Amiran obviously joined as well, but he is on the bench. Obviously, him and Joao Neves are going to be two key players in future seasons to come. But for now, this is the team. Really solid lineup, and hopefully, we can try and get ourselves our first Ligue 1 title this season. And would you look at that, guys? The second season is over and Lyon have won their first Ligue 1 title of this rebuild. 84 points. We only lost two games in the whole season. We have now checked off the first Ligue 1 title of eight. And hopefully, we can carry on and build on that in the coming seasons. Obviously, now we only need to win seven more. So, obviously, now we only need to win seven more. And I say only, it obviously is quite a lot of trophies and league titles. So, we've still got a fair, four, a fair few more seasons seasons to go we beat Lorient 2-1 in the round of 32 to go into the round of 16 we beat Nice 3-2 to qualify for the quarterfinals we beat PSG 2-1 to progress into the next round and then we will face Lille in the final of the Coupe de France back-to-back -back seasons guys we have won the Coupe de France the French Cup 2-0 against Lille which means which means we now have two out of the five French Cups we only need three more to complete that challenge I'm really happy with that guys two for two in the French Cup which is really good to see we came 
came sixth in the league phase, which means we go straight into the round of 16 of the Champions League. We then beat Anderlecht 4-1 on aggregate to progress into the next round, beating Dortmund 4-2 on aggregate to qualify into the semi-finals. And unfortunately, guys, Real Madrid just beat us on aggregate 5-4. They will face PSG. And Real Madrid did end up winning the whole tournament on penalties. Benavache won at the Europa League after a 2-0 win. And Marseille won at the Conference League 3-2. Vinicius Junior once again, our top goal scorer. 93 overall now. He has been really, really good for us. Jokrez, the new signing. 31 goals. Really happy with that. Already up to an 87 in his first season with us. Pulisic, 88 overall. He's doing really, really well on the right-hand side. 22 goals and 9 assists. Odegaard, really happy with the way he's progressed. 91 overall for the captain. 12 goals and 13 assists. So overall, we've had a really good season. We won our first league title, our second French Cup. We're now chasing seven more league titles and three more French Cups. So we're going to dive into season three now and see if we can carry on and try and replicate this season. So the first signing of season three is here, guys. It's going to be a new right back option for the club. Trent Alexander-Arnold has joined from Bayern Munich for £93.2 million. Even though Gusto is here and he is improving a lot and is playing really well for us, I didn't really have a backup option at right back. And Trent can also play in centre mid. I'm going to have him as our right back. Gusto will drop to the bench for now. I think Trent is very good, very versatile. 90 overall and only 27 years of age. Vernon is the new central midfield signing. He is only 23 years of age. I've signed him for the future seasons because obviously Erdegaard and Co won't be here for that long. £40 million spent on him. As I said, 23 years of age. He's one for the future. I'm going to keep him as a squad player. He's going to be used in the later seasons when we do need some fresh players as Erdegaard and Vitinha won't be here for the whole thing. As we look to improve our back line and have backup options, Inacio has come in to play as a central defender from Man City for £52.6 million. He is only 24 years of age. And as you see, Militao is 28. So he's got a couple of good seasons in his prime left. Inacio can come in and be that backup option and then a few years in a few years he will be our starting center back a really good addition to the team i think he's gonna be a great player one of my favorite center backs to use in career mode so then guys this will be your team for season three i mean some of these players have turned into absolute monsters especially Vinicius Jr., Araujo at centre-back, Erdegaard, Vitinha and Kalinoglu in the midfield have been really solid for us. Obviously, with the new additions of Trent Alexander-Arnold going into the starting eleven, hopefully he can provide some experience and also on the set pieces, he's going to be a real threat for us. And when you look at the bench as well, we've got some absolutely insane young talents that are going to be coming through and they will be getting their chances for us in the seasons to come. I am hopeful of getting another league title and another league cup with this squad. Hopefully, we can try and go on a little Champions League as well that would be really good seven more league titles to go and we get another one in season three we're at the end of season three guys and as you can see leon have won back-to-back -back league and titles that makes it the second league and title we have won in this rebuild absolutely smashed the league once again only lost two games throughout the whole season once again from last season we did the same it's a really really good start to this rebuild two league titles already unfortunately we didn't make the final of the french cup psg did end up winning that this season season champions league time now we finished sixth in the league phase so we go straight into the round of 16 we then beat roma 7-1 on aggregate to progress into the quarterfinals we beat barcelona just about three to on aggregate and we absolutely smashed real madrid 6-0 in the semis which means we will be playing manchester city in the final and we've won our first champions league trophy of the rebuild that means we can check off one of our objectives for this rebuild to win the champions league we have done it in season three beating Man City 2-1. Here are the stats at the end of the season, guys. Vinicius Junior once again, top goal scorer, 31 goals for us. Jokerez, 89 overall now, 29 goals for him. He's absolutely killing it for us. Pulisic and Erdegaard also really doing well for us. 90 overall and 92 overall for Erdegaard. But all round, the team is gelling really well. We are winning trophies, which is the main thing. We've now won the Champions League. We've won our second league and title. We're going to keep this momentum going and push on into season four now. We made our first signing of season four, guys, and it will be a backup left back to Theo Hernandez. Destin Adogi has joined from Liverpool for £86.7 million. He is only 24 years of age, 86 overall. He will be replacing Hernandez in a couple of seasons time. But I wanted to buy him now while he was a bit cheaper, while he's still developing. And he's going to be rotating with Hernandez throughout the season. But he will be the backup option for the next couple of seasons or so. Really happy with this signing. He looks absolutely insane. Our second and last signing of season four is here, guys. It will be a backup right winger to Christian Pulisic. Alfie Tyler has joined from Arsenal for £61 million. 
He's only 81 overall, but he's only 18 years of age. But he is going to be our backup. And in the seasons to come, he will be taking Pulisic's pace. He will be taking Pulisic's place once he does move on from the club. 18 years old, 81 overall. He's a really, really high prospect. 98 pace. He is going to be absolutely rapid for us. Squad for season four is here, guys. As you can see, Edison is still in goal. Trent, Militao, Araujo, Hernandez is the back line. Neves comes in to replace Alanoglu as he goes to the bench. He's 33 now. I feel like he's going to decline in the ratings now. So I'm going to push through the youngster, Joao Neves. Patinha and Captain Erdegaard are still there. Ulicic, Vinny Jr. and Jokerez are our front three. That is the team for season four. Obviously, we've still got a fair few league titles and league cups to claim. We've already ticked off the Champions League in the objectives that we did need. So I am hopeful for winning the league title once again. So that's the team. Let's dive in to season four. Wow, guys, would you look at that? We're at the end of season four and we won the league and title by goal difference against PSG. That is insane. We actually lost two more games than them. We both finished on 74 points and we've won by a one goal different margin that is absolutely incredible that puts us at three league titles in this rebuild so far we need to get eight we've got three so that is another one ticked off so far and we've also won the french cup once again beating monaco 3-0 in the final that now makes it our third coupe de france trophy which means we only need two more to complete that challenge of this rebuild champions league phase we came first which means we go straight into the round of 16 once again we beat Slavia Prague 4-1 in the round of 16 then Liverpool beat us on penalties after a 2-2 aggregate draw in the quarterfinals Liverpool actually ended up winning the whole thing 1-0 against Leverkusen Newcastle beat Lazio to win the Europa League this season and Roma have won the Conference League after a 3-1 victory so once again Vinicius Junior top goal scorer for us 95 overall now he is probably the best player in the game right now absolutely incredible return once again Ulicic once again getting 20 plus goals really happy with that 91 overall now Jokerez 91 overall 20 goals for him that front three is absolutely dynamite and everyone else just chipping in here as you can see a lot of players getting goals here and there but that is the end of season four guys once again we won the league and the cup which is what we want obviously with the new owners coming in they set the challenge of eight league titles and five French Cups. We've got three in each of those competitions. We need to keep progressing to continue to win the league and also the cup competition. But we're going to dive into season five now. A couple of areas in the team that I kind of want to improve on just to have as a backup option because a few of these players are getting a bit older now and they're starting to decline in the ratings. But the team is still absolutely amazing. Really happy with the way it's progressing. And we're having a lot of fun with this rebuild. Something a little bit different this time round. So I'm going to go into the transfer market now and see who we can sign for season five. We have made our first First signing of season five guys and it's going to be a new striker at the club he will be the backup option for Jokerez potentially being our star man in one or two seasons time Samu has joined from Lazio for 90 million pounds the 24 year old will be coming in as a backup I think Jokerez probably got one more or two more seasons at his very best and Samu will be coming in to replace him once Jokerez does eventually move on from us or retire our final signing of season five is here guys and Sandro Tonali has joined from Newcastle. He will be our new central midfielder. £74 million spent on him. He's going to be replacing Kalanoglu, who, as you can see, is 34 years of age. He's gone right down in the ratings. He will just be sitting on the bench. So Tonali comes in to replace him. He'll be our new central midfielder. So there you have it, guys. The transfer window is now over. And we've only made a couple more signings to add to this insane squad. Tonali comes into the starting 11. Samu will be on the bench because Jokerez has still got one or two more seasons in him. And I'm really, really happy with this team we can go back to back to back in terms of league titles still on the hunt for more hopefully we can carry on winning trophies in season five in the aim to complete the objectives set by the new owners so here we go season five is here and let's see where we can finish and hope that we can try and get another league title and also a french league cup the end of season five is here guys and once again leon have won the league and title that's now four league and titles so far in this rebuild four in a row we beat psg by four points this season we didn't lose a game we went invincible we also won the Coupe de France. We beat Monaco 1-0. That is now our fourth Coupe de France trophy, which means we only need one more trophy in terms of the French Cup. We'll be able to check that objective off. We finished second in the Champions League league phase this season. We beat Celtic 7-1 on aggregate. And then we finally beat Liverpool in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And unfortunately, guys, Bayern Munich didn't lock us out in the semifinals of the Champions League. And Barcelona ended up winning the whole thing. United beat Milan 2-1 to win the Europa League. Arsenal beat Fiorentina to win the 
Conference League this season. Once again, Vinicius Junior is our top goal scorer. 34 goals this season. Pulisic actually on 32 goals. He was really close to Vinny this season. Jokerez once again banging in the goals. This front three has been one of my favourite front threes in the whole of FC25. Erdegaard still getting goals and assists from central midfield. And overall, once again, people just chipping in and helping out here and there. That ends season five. And now up to four league titles, four French Cups and one Champions League. So we need to carry on this run of form into season six. We've got four more league titles to win and one more French Cup to win. So let's dive into the transfer window in season six. See if we can try and improve this team just a little bit more to keep doing what we're doing. So as we go into season six, guys, I've only decided to sign one player and that is Zara Emery. He has cost us £145 million from Manchester United. He'll be going into midfield. Odegaard is now 31. He's probably got one or two more seasons left in the starting 11. Zara Emery will be replacing him in the seasons to come. I was actually going to have Zara Emery on the bench, but I actually decided to swap him for Tonali. He will be playing in the central defensive role. Tino and Odegaard will be playing in front of him. This is the team. It's absolutely stacked, guys. I don't really have anything else to say. We've just won four league titles in a row. We're going for the fifth one and we're going for our fifth French Cup as well. We're just going to go straight into the season, guys. Obviously, we've got some players getting a bit older now, so we have to start thinking about selling them in the next couple of seasons to then bring in the youth players, to then bring in the younger players. But for now, this is the squad. We're going for the five P. Hopefully, we can do it in season six. Once again, Leon have won the Lugan title, which means that it makes our it makes it our fifth league title in a row. A massive achievement for the Leon boys. Eight points clear of PSG this season. Unfortunately, guys, no French Cup for us this season because Marseille knocked us out 1-0 in the round of 16. Marseille actually ended up winning the whole competition in this season. Champions League league phase now. We finished second once again in the league phase, which means we're straight into the round of 16. But we did beat Leverkusen 5-2 on aggregate to progress into the quarterfinals. We then narrowly beat PSG after a 3-3 aggregate on penalties. And then we beat Ajax 4-3 in the semi-finals of the Champions League. And unfortunately, guys, Barcelona beat us 6-5 on penalties, which means we crash out in the final. Unfortunately, guys, I can't show you the stats at the end of the season because my game glitched out and I wasn't able to get there. So I've come to the end of the season here. We finished first in the league on table to make it five in a row. Round of 16 in the French Cup, unfortunately. And then we lost in the final of the Champions League against Barcelona. We're now up to five league trophies, four trophies in the French Cup and one Champions League. We only need three more league titles to complete this rebuild, which also includes one more league cup as well. Without further ado, guys, we're going to dive in to season seven now. Into season seven now, guys, and our new goalkeeper is here at Lyon. Lucas Chevalier has come in from Man City for 65 million pounds. With Edison now retiring and leaving the club, we needed to go out and get ourselves a new world-class goalkeeper, and Chevalier is the man to do that. 87 overall, he is going to be our next keeper for the rest of this rebuild, I would say, because he's actually 28 years old, 87 overall, and he's only going to keep improving. I mean, look at those stats, 99 kicking, he's absolutely insane. But he will be our goalkeeper for the rest of this rebuild guys he's got some really really nice stats and i think he's gonna be a great keeper for us i've decided to go out and get our new center back guys is scalavini has come in to join us at centre half from Wolves for 105 million pounds. I know it's a lot of money for a centre back. He's only 26 years of age and he's already 88 overall. With Militao and Araujo getting a bit older now, they're going to start declining in the ratings and the stats. I had to bring someone younger in and he will be playing with Inacio in the next season or two. Our final signing for season seven, guys, is here. It's going to be a new right back to join us at Lyon. Mario Ruiz has joined from Wolves, another player from Wolves once again, 60 million pounds defender from Wolves but we really we really needed a new right back obviously Trent has unfortunately left so has Gusto but Ruiz will come in 23 years of age 90 pace 60 million pounds spent and he will go straight into the starting 11. So here is your team for season 7 guys a couple of changes in the starting 11. Ruiz has come in at right back Chevalier has come in in goal obviously the bench is absolutely stacked with talents on the bench as well. A couple of players are getting a bit older now so they're going to start rotating out of the team in the next season or two. The aim is to get this rebuild completed in the next three seasons we only need to win three more league and titles and one more league cup to be able to complete this rebuild at the end of season nine we'll be able to complete and finish this rebuild but for now we're still in season seven and we've got a lot to do so can we go and get ourselves another trophy let's see how we get on in season seven and fingers crossed we can grab another league and title and also the french cup we have come to the end of season seven guys and as you can see leon have just about won the league and title once again that is now our sixth league title in a 
a row which is absolutely outstanding we only lost four games this season psg only lost two but they did draw seven unfortunately guys we got knocked out in the quarterfinals of the coupe de france so no trophy for us in the league cup we're still chasing that last league cup to complete that challenge but unfortunately it does not come in season seven and we only reached the quarterfinals in the champions league this season as bayern munich knocked us out 5-4 on aggregate in the quarterfinals real madrid ended up beating arsenal 3-1 to win the champions league this season palace won the europa league after beating monaco 2-0 and atletico bilbao beat spurs 4-2 on penalties to win the conference league this season vinicius junior once again our top goal scorer 97 overall now age 30 coming to the end of his career but he's still in his prime years absolutely smashing it for us jokerez 91 overall 32 years of age I might look to Samu to start him next season. Same with Pulisic, now 32. I might bring in someone a bit younger for the last couple of seasons. So a lot of players are getting a bit older now. We're going to have to start looking to replace them. That is our sixth league title in a row. We only need two more to complete this rebuild. We're still chasing that last Coupe de France trophy as well. We're going to carry on our great form in the league into season eight. Hopefully we can carry that on and win our seventh league trophy. I'm going to have to do something with the squad in terms of selling off some players and signing new players, I think. There's just too many older players that are kind of going down in the ratings now. We need to try and change them and improve them if we can. We're going to dive into the Season 8 transfer window now. See who we can pick up. We've made a big signing here, guys. A central midfielder coming in to replace either Vitinha or Erdegaard. As you can probably tell, it is Kamavinga. He is joining from Manchester City. £100 million spent on Kamavinga. Obviously, we know how good he is. 28 years of old, 90 rated. He's going to go straight into central midfield. So then, guys, just the one signing for Season 8, guys. I feel like we didn't need to make many signings in this season obviously in the next couple of seasons obviously in next season i will probably look to sell some of the older players like pulisic jokerez and go out and get the best players in the world we need to win another league and title this season to then be able to finish the rebuild in next season if we can win the league there again obviously we need one more french cup we've already ticked off the champions league an additional champions league would just make would make it really great as well but our main focus is the league and the coupe de france trophies we're going to dive into season eight now this team looks absolutely insane going to carry on our league success i'm sure but let's go into season eight and see if we can carry on our winning streak we've now made it seven league and titles because leon have won the league and title for the seventh season in a row we are absolutely dominating french football like Leon once did in real life 80 points to win this season here Lille came in second really really happy with the way the team has progressed in this rebuild seven league titles in a row unfortunately guys we got knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Coupe de France we're still chasing that last league cup title and we haven't got it yet and unfortunately guys Aston Villa knocked us out 7-5 on aggregate in the quarterfinals of the Champions League this season Villarreal ended up winning it against Dortmund 2-1 Juventus beat Napoli 2-0 in the Europa League final and Nice beat Como 2-1 to win the Conference League this season. Vinicius Junior once again getting our goals. 28 for him, 98 overall now. He is absolutely insane in his prime years. Ulicic also getting 27 goals. He is declining now. He's gone down to a 90. I'm probably going to look to sell him next season. Same with Jokerez. He's already going down the ratings. Odegaard's still there. I'm potentially going to keep him. There's definitely a lot of players here that I'm going to move on next season. This season is a big one. If we can finally win one more league title the eighth league title and also a coupe de france then the rebuild will be complete guys we're gonna just dive into season nine and fingers crossed we can have another league and cup double to secure the final bit of this rebuild we have signed lamine yamal guys and we have sent pulisic to man united plus 146 million pounds pulisic was starting to go down in the ratings even though he is one of our best players i just couldn't have him in the squad anymore so he has been sold and yamal has come in 94 overall and those stats look absolutely incredible he is going to be one to help us try and get that last league title we need to complete this rebuild it's another swap deal guys and unfortunately jokerez has left the club he was also the same as pulisic where he was just going down in the ratings so we've decided to bring in benjamin sesco from tottenham it's a straight swap no money included 89 overall 29 years of age he's going to come in for this season and hopefully just smash in the goals look at those stats 89 pace 90 shooting I feel like he's a great and similar replacement for jokerez 
We have made a really, really big signing at the centre-back role. Araujo has unfortunately left the club. He has been one of our best centre-backs throughout this whole rebuild. But unfortunately, he was starting to decline in the ratings. We have gone out and got Marius Michel has come in instead of Araujo. We've swapped him and £128 million. He will be playing next to Sclavini as the two centre-back options for the season. And that will be our last transfer in Season 9. As we head into Season 9, guys, look at this squad. Especially that midfield. Erdegaard, Camavinga. Zara Emery in the midfield. Vinicius Jr. 98 overall now, guys. Honestly, this team looks absolutely incredible. I really think we'll be able to win the league title once again. We also need to make sure that we do win the League Cup as well. Without further ado, guys, let's get into Season 9 with this squad. And hopefully, we can try and finish this rebuild in this season and lift the Ligue 1 title and the Coupe de France one more time. We are at the end of Season 9, guys. And as you can see, we just about beat PSG to the Ligue 1 title. We finished on the same game games the same points same wins draws losses but we just edged it on the goal difference we had a much better goal difference than psg this season and this only means one thing guys we have finally ticked off the eight league trophies that the board have set us so that part of the challenge is complete we also have already completed the champions league trophy we just need to win one more french cup we're in the final guys we will play toulouse in the coupe de france final the last chance for us to win this trophy and if we do we will be able to complete this rebuild stats at the end of the season guys Vinicius Jr with 31 goals 14 assists I'm pretty sure he's been our top goal scorer every season Sesco in his first year of us 23 goals really happy with that Erdegaard 34 he's still getting goals and assists 17 goals 11 assists and then loads of other players just helping here and there so guys we have one more trophy that we need to win it's our fifth Coupe de France trophy this will be your team for the Coupe de France final guys pretty much an unchanged team throughout most of this rebuild obviously Vinny Jr and Odegaard being here from the start really happy with the way this team has turned out and we need one more trophy to complete this whole rebuild it is one more French League Cup we're gonna dive straight into this game guys and hopefully we can win to finish this rebuild what an insane journey it's been guys I hope you guys have enjoyed it we've got one more game to play and let's see if we can finally win that fifth Coupe de France Dar Emery on the ball Plays it through to Ruiz, the right back. He gets the shot away, and oh my god, what a goal that is from Ruiz. That's an insane finish from our right back. What a ball over the top from Zar Emery as well. Look at that for a through ball. Great touch on the chest. Down, head down, and he smashed it across the keeper, and he's never going to save that. Look at that. Ruiz has made it 1-0 to Leon inside the first seven minutes of this Coupe de France. Here come to Ludo. Ferguson through on goal. It's Ferguson. It's saved by the keeper. The rebound. Oh, we've conceded. Gallet Garcia has got the goal for Salou from a rebound. That is so frustrating to concede a goal like that from a rebound. As you can see, the keeper makes a great save. Unfortunately, guys, it has been parried out into the middle of the box. And as you can see, guys, the keeper makes an all right save. He's pushed it straight into the danger area. Mal, can he feed in Sesco? He might just be offside. I think he's still onside. It's Sesco. What a finish that is. I thought he was offside, but turns out he wasn't. That's a great pass from Yamal into Sesco, who slots it coolly into the bottom corner. It's a great finish from Sesco there. Took his time, got the keeper out of his line, and he slots it into the bottom corner. But Leon 2 1 up in this Coupe de France final. Zara Emery is going to go for the long shot here. Zara Emery. Oh, the keeper's made a great save there. Give me another corner. Erdegaard on the left side. Sesco's in the middle. Sesco can't get on the end of it. Can we get a shot away? Camavinga. Oh, it's deflected in. Oh, that's so unfortunate, guys. But we don't care. Camavinga has got a goal. What happened here? It was a bit scrappy. And then Camavinga's gone for the shot. And it's hit the defender and it's gone in. Oh, that's such a poor way to score a goal. But we will take it. It gives us a two-goal lead advantage in the final we're now 3 1 up, guys. Sesco on the ball. Kamavinga now plays it out wide to Yamal. Going to keep this in. Just about. That's really nice from Yamal. Erdegaard's on the edge of the box. Touch. Shoot. Erdegaard. Oh, it's wide. I think that will do it, guys. Surely that is going to be game over. I don't think Toulouse are going to score two goals. Oh, Sesco nearly got on the end of that. Surely that's the end of the game, ref. And it is. We have finally done it, guys. We have completed all the challenges and objectives from the board. We have won our fifth Coupe de France title. 
this rebuild has been really, really fun to make. Something a bit different than usual. But we have now completed eight Ligue 1 titles in a row. We've won five Coupe de France trophies. And we won one Champions League as well. We've absolutely smashed this rebuild with Lyon. Lyon will win the Coupe de France this season for the fifth time. And this finally ends off this Lyon rebuild. What an insane rebuild this has been. Some of the players that we had in this team were absolutely incredible. Really, really enjoyed this one, guys. I hope you did too. This will be the end of the video, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. I appreciate all the support as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one.